tell that <laughs> my snowman is lit. You can't even tell. <laughs> What's up, Jeremy? What you doing? Okay, I got like a whole bunch of sets spread out for me to start using. But I just remembered that I had a package sent to me not very long ago. These, no, these are skill pills, just the original OG style. I don't even think uh, Tyrone makes these anymore. These are like the first, one of the first issues that he did. Like, see how they're like kind of, they kind of look like afterburners, don't they? That's cool. I got these from a Weston's giveaway. So, I don't know if they're available anymore. I don't think they are. Everybody's like, what can you do when they're linked? You can do all kinds of stuff when they're linked. Let me show you what, what you can do. You can do stuff like this, like that. Of course, I'd cheat. When I go this way, I use my thumb to assist. But you can do this. That's one of those. That's one of those things you can only do with a magnetic set that connect. I'm playing with these more because uh, I lengthen the cord, and I like this length. Okay, so yeah, shout out to Master Mash. He sent me these, and I have not uh, released the unboxing video for it yet, but I'm going to, yeah? And the reason I have them, I'm not going to fucking lie, the reason I have them in this bag, Master, is because they smell like men's cologne. I'm just going to say that and get it out of the way, because you say that we need to be honest, and I'm being honest with you right now. <laughs> No, no hate. I ain't hating. I'm being honest. These have one of those musky odors. Very, very strong. I have to put them in this. I've already sprayed them with Febreze. <laughs> and uh, nothing seems to make it go away. <laughs> Other than that, <laughs> yeah, they got the axe smell going on. <laughs> in the future... To, to my suggestion to you, dude, and this is all good natured, okay? This is because I love you and I care. Wash your hands before you make your sets next time so that when you give them to the next person or you sell them, they're not going to have that <laughs> Chanel number five. Because <laughs> that's kind of, it's strong, dude. I'm not going to lie, it's strong. Okay, so now that smell of vision is not a thing and you can't smell these, I will show them to you because they're pretty awesome despite the very strong odor. <laughs> but here we go, okay. <clears throat> I'll show you what I got. What he does, which is very, very different, he does this dual cord thing. And he did ask me for my specific length because, you know, once he makes them, that's the length they're going to be. You can't adjust these. These are not, these are not party adjustable, like party arty. <laughs> but, <laughs> but they are cool because of their, of, of how he made them. And I want to say there's a pretty good weight also. So I'll show you the, I'll show you the whole swag that I got from him. These right here, I already showed you. The pattern 
is similar to this one. And then, so this one is a single cord, smaller sized monkey fist that he made. It's a little bit, a little bit smaller. Can you tell how small? A little bit smaller. I like, I like the cord. Yeah, I like the color. It's a very cool pattern. And he does this thing where he knots it, he knots it once before you get to the, to the monkey fist. That's, that's the thing that he does. I don't know if that's common with monkey fist sets because I don't have any. This is like my first monkey set, monkey fist set, really, because I have party arties, but they're not monkey fists. Okay, so now this one is even smaller than, I don't know if you can tell. Maybe they're not smaller. You know, I think, I take it back. These are the same size. <laughs> these are the same size. I suck at reviews, I know. But these have a different pattern. Like a greenish blue. This is like a bluish with a, with a light blue. So these have like a splash of yellow, splash of yellow. I'm going to say green, but I lie. And these, these play really good. These, these have a decent weight to be so small. Similar weight. These are both in similar weight. A little bit heavier. Okay. This right here <laughs> is a little baby. <laughs> now, okay, these are even smaller. Okay, these are the ones that are smaller, like you can tell. These are a tiny bit smaller than these, yeah. And uh, he did have the, there was knots at the ends here. You can kind of see where, where this, the cord is a little bit bent, where there was a knot. I removed those knots because it wasn't long enough for me. <laughs> now by doing that, I might have reduced the weight because this is very, very light set. Yeah, you like the tassels? How about them tassels though? How about them tassels? They're uh, rocking, and this is like a like an olive green color. Yeah, this you can get these from. He's on the group. I think he's on the group. Master Mash. You hit him up. He's got a line called Monkey Fist Slingers. Yeah, and hold up. I have a card, so I will show you, I will show you, I will show you, let's see how I can do this, how can I do this where it won't be reversed, where is the camera, oh there it is, okay, there you go, monkey fist slingers, you know, that's his thing is, is you know. <clears throat> and so, yeah, uh, hit him up. I will put his link on, uh, on the description or like in a comment, but he's got a pretty cool little logo. He's got this monkey. This monkey looks angry. Looks like an angry, happy, angry monkey, but, but he's, he's cool. <laughs> So yeah, I'll 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 link you up later. Now back to the rest. I'll show you the rest of them that I got. This one right here is black with red. Check that out. Look at that bad boy. Now this is heavy. This is heavy. So I don't know exactly what, what he uses for weight. But uh, yeah, this one's not playing around. This one, this one's got some some weight on it. I want to say it reminds me of my copper everyman's. That's about how heavy <laughs> these are. And the copper everyman's, it have the 
I have my mini tie or mini hydras. I'm running them both in each one. So these are the heaviest set that I have, honestly. This pretty much rivals that. So I'm not keeping track. Okay, I'm keeping track now of my time. So I won't ask y'all to be annoying. And be like, how much time do I have? <laughs> okay, now this one is a dual string. Check that out. And he's he used a yellow and orange pattern print, but the yellow is solid yellow, like a neon yellow. And it has a little bit of green in it, actually. You can't really see that. I don't know if you can see that. See a little bit of green, little hints of green. So he made this also uh, custom for me to my length, my my specified length that I that I like. And I find that if you're going to go with one of these, you need to realize that the length counts from this part. To this part not from the big not from the ends of the monkey fist it out it actually counts from here to here so that makes it uh, something to keep in mind if you're gonna give him your length and you want to you want to uh, order a set or whatever I'm not sure how he goes about making his sets and selling them, but you gotta hit him up and find out. But this right here, that's pretty cool. I'm trying to figure out what you can do with a dual string. Like if, if there's something you can, can I put my, I can do this, I can do that. I can put my hand in there. I can put my hand, oh my God, what am I doing? <laughs> I'm an inventive motherfucker, okay? I'm not gonna lie. I'll, if I have something, I will find a way to use it. If, if there's something that's that's not common, I will utilize that as well. Because that's how I roll. That's what I do. Okay? I find things that can be done that nobody else is going to do. Because that's, that's how my mind works. Okay, last but not least. <laughs> this one right here is very, very... Uh, I want to say unicornish. <laughs> Can I say that? Is that a name? <laughs> is that is that a word? Oh, I need to brush these tassels because apparently my finger gets stuck in them sometimes when I'm when I'm when I'm slinging them. <laughs> so I think I need to brush out the tangles. Yeah. But my hair is tangled too, so you know, what does it matter? At this point, do I really care? <laughs> do I really, do I really care? I kind of do. I'm sorry. I kind of care. Because if my hand, if my finger gets stuck inside, and I've had it happen when I was filming uh, some footage, some freestyle footage, and I have to edit it. I haven't done that yet. My finger was getting stuck inside the tassel. <laughs> quite a bit of times but I do like yeah then I look like a parrot like like I would have this on my shoulder right like a little parrot one of those uh, cockatoos <laughs> but the colors are, are wild uh, apparently he's using different colored cord here because it fades away you can kind of tell that it's fading from one one color to another I'm pretty sure that's how he did it well, it, it looks really good. Like, I don't know how he was able to do that. You can't even really tell where it fades. This one, you can tell where it's fading. You see how it's like fading from a dark purple to a, a lighter pink or something. So yeah, a lot of work goes into this. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna like diss the dude. I, I respect the work that goes into this. I really do. And similar to uh, Party Artie, it's a lot of work that goes into handcrafting any kind of sets that are, you know, crafted with paracord. 
And my heart goes out to you because that must be intense. That must be serious work to do. So, yeah, if you, if you want to, uh, if you don't have a set already that is handcrafted out of paracord, then look up Monkey Fist Slingers. Look up Party Artie Beggary and give them a try. I think there's quite a few others, but I can't speak on them because I haven't tried them. So I can't say anything about them. But there are others out there that do the handcrafting of paracord. And, uh, yeah, this is, this is a unicorn set right here. I don't know, it takes a certain kind of person <laughs> to rock the... I've seen guys with crazy tassels. I think a shout out to Matt from Around Square because at one point I remembered he uh, he was rocking the Macho Man tassels on one of his uh, I think they were Titans. <laughs> so I mean you know it's not like it can't be done. What's up, Corey? What you doing? <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> I got my round squares going on now. But I just wanted to show those off because I hadn't showed them off. And I feel really bad because I, I haven't finished my edits. And I have a lot of footage that I need to edit from unboxings and freestyles and stuff like that when I get, you know, stuff sent my way. The least I can do is just make a video and put it up on YouTube. And I've been slacking. I'll admit it. I've been slacking. But I thought I'd just show them off real quick. Now, uh, <laughs> I have to uh, properly store them away. <laughs> because no offense, but they do, they have a very strong odor of, uh, I guess it's Axe. <laughs> but I really, I can't, I have to tightly seal them away. I have a very sensitive nose, and it, it's uh, no nothing against these sets at all. I I like how they play; they're really awesome. They just are very strong, very very strong odor on them. <laughs> and I I uh, yeah, I can smell popcorn from very far away. When I'm at work, I can smell it, man. It can be like far away and on the other side of the of the office and I know there's popcorn over there. If I can smell that far away, popcorn, then men's cologne, yeah, I, it's very, very strong for me. <laughs> I'll try it. Uh, maybe if I throw a mothball or two in that bag, maybe the scent will like dissipate because I already sprayed free breeze and that didn't work. So I don't know. <laughs> if you have any uh, suggestions, you know, hit me up. Uh, so now, no, this is not sponsored. I, I'm not sponsored by anybody. Okay? I'm the unsponsorable. Me. Cloudy girl. <laughs> I may, I, I may, I'll tell you honestly. I may be fronted gifts and presents, and people may send me very cool sets, and I appreciate all that. I do. But let me make this clear, I'm not sponsored by anybody. So I don't uh, have bias for one brand to another. To me, I love them all. I cannot, <laughs> a mothball would make it explode. <laughs> I cannot say that I love one more than another because I love them all. And I I was around when it first started to become a thing, when Begley was, was getting hot, and it was... I'm talking the early beginnings, okay? Now, I'm not going to say, oh, I, you know, I stand for this brand, or I stand for this brand. I can't do that because I love them all. And so I support them all. And I've explained this to other people, 
it's something that I enjoy. I enjoy to sling them all, take pictures of all of them, have video using all of them. This, for example, I made myself. This is from, uh, I've probably showed these before. These are like one of the first ones that I had. I made these from air fresheners in my car. And I've since lengthened the cord because it used to be really short. But these are like, these are soft rubber tips. These are not hard. <laughs> yeah, that's what I say, Jeremy. But, you know, I don't, I'm going to, if I can, and I, I have been slacking, but in my own defense, if I get a set, someone sends me something, I will unbox it, and I will freestyle play with it, and I'll show it off here on live stream because that's what I do. I like to spread the word of all the different types of beggary that come my way and I like to pass them on to other people and that information if I can. So like I did earlier with the monkey fist slingers, I will do that with any other sets that I get. You know, as, as long as I have the time to do it, I will do my best to do that and spread the word and spread the stoke of beggary. I think uh, last week I was rocking the the metal chucks and the thumb chucks, and uh, I was in a conversation earlier with with Master Mash, and it was something to do with thumb chucks, and he did not he did not like them, <laughs> and I don't uh, want to say that everybody should like everything. Not everyone can be like me. <laughs> I like them all, okay? That's just me. And I don't get paid by anybody to say certain things about any any brands. So I'm not I'm not being picky or biased or anything I do say, I say because I feel it from my heart and I'm not I'm not just being nice about it or anything. I'm being all, as honest as I can be. So that's, <laughs> that's, that's all I got to say about that. Yeah, spread the love, not the hate. I don't, I don't believe in the hate. I honestly really hate the hate, if you really must know. I think it sucks. I think it's limitating. I think it brings people down. I think it invites negativity into the community. And I, I don't dig that, dude. I think that we're better than that. I think that beggary as a whole has a loving community and we all stand together and we all support each other. And that's the way it should be, you know, because if it wouldn't be that way, I wouldn't have showed off those monkey fist slingers earlier. And I just wasn't able to do it last week. What are you doing? What, what are you barking at? So I thought I'd, I'd do it now. <laughs> and I'm not, I'm not trying to say that one beggary is better than the other because like I said, I like them all. So that being said, I will show you. What else will I show you? I'll show you my little bit. <laughs> if you want to see her, come here. You want to say hi to the people? You want to say hello to everybody? Yeah? What's going on? What you doing? When she, she's a good little watchdog. So when she hears something going on, she wants to protect me. <laughs> and that's sweet of her. So yeah, I love her. Yeah, support the community, dude. Don't bring other uh, brands down. I don't, I don't believe in that. I don't think that anybody should be doing that, especially if you have your own line too. It doesn't uh, sit well with what you're trying to to push your own stuff. You know, we should all get along and we should all support each other because there's room enough for all of us. I don't, I don't think that uh, beggary should be competitive in that respect. I think that we should all be able to get along and enjoy everybody's brands and play with whichever ones we we seem to like some way gravitate to a certain style 
a certain uh, feel or size material and that's all good you know there's nothing bad about that and I don't I don't feel like any one brand should have be pointed at in a negative light let's all love each other that's all I gotta say for the new year I have to do more of that now <laughs> now that I said that here's my little aliens <laughs> these were made by me these were little keychains that I had and they had the little um, a little bitty hole on the top you know a loop where you can where you had the keychain going on and I just added I think the keychain came from here about that long about that long and I added this link chain in between those and there's not a lot I've noticed that there is not a lot of chain being used for beggary cord I'm probably one of the only people that uses it that I know of if you're out there and you use chain you know then hit me up take a picture share the wealth I want to see I want to know what kind of chain you use because I'm using this one and this was from uh, it's it's put together with one of these one of these rings so you can see I had to like bend it apart and put it back together and that's how I put these together um, but yeah I got this chain from a jewelry making set for little girls <laughs> Somebody, my mom actually, she gave me that as a birthday present, and it had a, had a bunch of like extra chain and stuff like that, little beads and things. <laughs> oh, did you really, Jeff? You got a cumbalite chain? That's cool, dude. I want to see that. Like, that's one thing I don't have. I don't have a cumbalite. I think I'm saying it right. I don't have a cumbalite, and. Uh, I guess I would like one at this point because when I first saw the beglary, I saw it side by side with Combali about the same time. And I was uh, more interested in beglary. I didn't, I didn't, I wasn't into the Combali. But yeah, I, I would like to probably try one at this point in my beglary life that I've already been using beglary all this time. I think I should I should open myself up to other things too. So yeah, post that. I want to see that. Um, let me see. What else? What else can I show you? What I've recently done. I changed up my Herx colors. It's kind of hard to see them, but this is purple and white. This is pink and light blue, and I put them on a blue-gray cord. Oh, for real? On Etsy. That's cool. Yeah, totally. Post that up. Post up a picture. And let me see. I changed up my cords on my mini standards and my modern standards. I think they're both brass. I want to say they're both brass, but how would I know? I, I remember I, I did mention something about bronze. Is bronze and brass very, very close to each other? Like, I don't know. If, I can't tell the difference, honestly. <laughs> These might be bronze. So I don't, I don't, I don't really know. I had to switch up that, that music, dude. That would sound like helicopters. I thought I was going to be attacked. <laughs> I thought helicopters were coming to take me away. Dude. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> So this is the modern standards. Should I taste it? I didn't think of that. Do you mind if I... <laughs> Should I taste it? 
Brass with more tin. Well, it might be then because it looks very brassy, but I will say that the mini standards are dented a lot more. I don't know if brass is very, very uh, soft and the modern is not. So it could very well be that these are bronze and I've been calling them brass all this time, but that's because I have a uh, short term. <laughs> But yeah, okay, so if you can tell the difference, then let me know. But I'm I'm starting to think that these are bronze and these are brass. Look how these have been have been hit and stuff. <laughs> oh, hey Jeremy. Jeremy's on lunch break. I caught your I caught your uh stream and I liked it. You have very short, very sweet streams. And I like how you, I like your short style of play. You're a short game. You rock it well, sir. Keep on rocking. So yeah, these these feel a lot better with a different chord. I don't usually um what's the word I'm looking for? I don't typically change chords a lot. I just don't. Once I, once I put a chord, it's going to be there until I'm totally tired of it and I want to put a different one. <laughs> so, like, that's just, that's just me. There's other people. I think, uh, shout out to Rob, Rob Costa, because I think he's one of those people that he's constantly changing his chords. He, he always brings that up in his streams. And uh, that's cool. I don't have that kind of patience, honestly. Like, unless it's something that's easy to do, like a 550 ready. Like, I took the time, uh, like a whole day out of my whole life, just to restring 550 chord <laughs> on all my non-550 ready sets that I had. And that takes some time, but I'm passionate about my beggary play. That when I do get down to changing chords, I'm not kidding around. <laughs> I will do it. Okay, I will show you what I've been working on so you can so you can see. Let me see. I might have showed you this before, I think I did. This right here is my bead roll going over the first finger. See what I did? It goes over the first finger. Well, I haven't filmed this yet. But did you see what I just did? I went to the little finger. I switched grip on my on my bead roll. Instead of staying with that grip, and show you again. Instead of staying with this grip, which I started with, I'm doing this. Did you see this? Yeah, I'll show you again. It's hard to show it slow. I'm on this grip now. Ooh. <laughs> I'm starting to try to switch grips on bead rolls. And that's the first one that I've successfully been able to do. Cord cleaners, that's a good point, um, Simon. There's got to be one out there. I'm not, I'm not familiar personally, so I can't tell you. Um, Speaking of cleaners, y'all remember these? These are the fidget slingers that I got from Rain City. And they're spinning a lot longer now. Thank you to Tomo and who else gave me the advice of cleaning them with alcohol. But I was lazy. I didn't want to take them out because I, it took me a long time to, to get the length just right. and. I burned these ends and I didn't want to mess with the cord. I still like this cord. So I was lazy and I pulled the bearings out and I used a Q-tip and I kind of like sucked it as much as I could in alcohol on both sides of the bearings and they pop off here so you can do it on both sides. And removed a lot of the grime it had because I, I did use oil, I used grease. To, uh, I thought it was going to make it a lot 
it's been a lot longer. Get down, little. Come here, little. No, what are you doing? Stop being a cat. Stop being an acrobat. So I'm climbing all over my couch right now. <laughs> but yeah, a shout out to you guys because look, that's a lot longer than it was spinning. I still, I want it to spin longer. But I guess that's as long as it's gonna get. Depends on how you spin it too, like how fast you. If I did like a, a timer on this, yeah, this one just, this one dies pretty quick. <laughs> Even though it spins a lot longer, I don't know. Spinners spoiled me. <laughs> I like the idea that they spin. I just want them to spin forever. Is that so wrong? Is that so wrong? Rain City. Yeah, these are the Rain City fidget slingers. They're so cool. I mean, you know, that's that's pretty neat. That's pretty neat. That's a lot longer than it was spinning, but that was all because of. Uh, I'd like to thank alcohol, rubbing alcohol. You are my saving grace. <laughs> and let's see, what else should I? show you or talk about or do or say can't think of anything else right now oops here's my chromentums my chromentums i'll just do a freestyle real quick with my crows can i call them crows does that sound okay is that Acceptable, Corey. I call them crows. I'm interested in what's uh, coming up with chromentums because I've seen uh, that one picture that I don't know if it was you or Ruben that put up, but it looked pretty awesome, dude. It looked like uh, different shapes in the future. Yeah, different shapes. So I'm looking forward to that. I want to see what y'all come up with. I thought I saw a Hershey kiss. I love Hershey kisses. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> I love them Hershey kisses. But yeah, these, I'm rocking these. I love them both. I'm not going to lie. I'm a little partial to the heavier uh, medium set that I got. Cause these here are the minis and I rock them too. Mini nickel, medium brass, 22 grams, 36, 36. You know how I do, you know how I do. I need to make a new edit, yeah. Twenty-two, thirty-six. Wax on, wax off, Daniel son. <laughs> oh, for real, the cage. Oh, I got carried away looking, looking at the screen and not at what I was doing happens a lot. To my dismay. Huh, what's another what's another check I've been working on? I'm gonna show y'all something cool before I sign off. Y'all you've already seen all these tricks. Let me see. Let me think. What is what is the thing I've been working on lately? It'll come to me. 
Now come to me. Come to me. Come to me. Oh, it was a two-handed thing. <laughs> it was a two-handed thing. Let me see. Maybe I should stand up for this. Let me see better. Can you see better? I've been working out. <laughs> okay, wait. Oh, no. Damn. There. I catch it. I've been doing this with the metal checks, actually, so it's been... I'm thinking of a different size right now. <laughs> I'm trying to adjust my brain. Okay. So I catch them. With a finger assist. And then I let them go. I've been trying to do that, incorporate that into my transfers. I'm just showing you slowly what it looks like. Now, now I'll just show you like really fast. Without the, without the dramatic pause in between. And that was another way that I was getting out of that. I was just doing this number. Something to that effect, yeah, from this, the strange and unusual mind of Cloudy Girl. Coming to you live. And now I'm about to sign off, so. My minutes are up, it's 31 minutes on my clock, probably a little bit longer. A02. She likes it when I do this. I don't really, I rarely do this when she's around. Why do you like that so much? Why? What, what, what is it? <laughs> she freaks out every time I do that. It's the noise that it makes. I think she thinks it's her baby cry. <laughs> you have no babies. No, you need to cut it. You need to snap out of that phase. I'm telling you, you need to cut it out, okay? <laughs> you need to cut it out. You're not a mother. Stop pretending like you are, faker. <laughs> okay, that's all I got. Thanks for watching. Uh, keep streaming if you're streaming. If you're watching the streams, then just keep watching. Enjoy your Saturday. Have a good weekend.